Here's three solid. He's like, wait, don't run me over. Wow. Well, that looks like a <laughs> looks like a nice little change, huh? It's a it's it's a little bit of a change. I would <laughs> I would say at this point, <laughs> just, just a bit. <laughs> looks awesome. I love the way you guys did this piece here too. Everything. You, you, it's funny. You said you use the other lines too from the thing, from yeah, the other car. Those, those are really really nice lines. Look at that. Wow. And where's the manifold? I guess I don't know. <laughs> oh, nice. You sure not we're, we're not going to weigh more? <laughs> <laughs> wow. The weight is really the, uh, the intercooler brake, which is uh, pretty much this whole section. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, uh, is this is awesome. You wanted unique, Marcelo? Yeah. Um, the hood's going to clear, huh? Pretty good. Yeah, 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 just yeah, fine. Right. <laughs> it will not need to be cut. We're good. Yeah, We're just gonna put a bungee cord from like here to about here, and it should 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 play. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's crazy. So of course these are the ins and outs for the air to water. Is this billet piece in the middle? Um, Two thousand plus horsepower rating. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, do they let us run without a hood at 2K? Uh, without a hood, no, but with a properly cut hood, since we're not modifying for supercharger fitment, mm -hmm. we'll be okay. Mm -hmm. As the rules would, would have stated, if we needed a cut for supercharger, we are no good, but uh, we're cutting for an intake manifold. Nice. So. Wow. Look at that the shaft difference, right? Yep. Awesome. It's funny they they almost look they have the same uh, color uh, Springs, spring. Yeah. I wonder. Hmm. Very nice. Yeah, they're definitely different. This one's a lot taller than spring. Mm -hmm. And then the fronts too are probably a lot. Yep. And the front, uh, the other ones over there, but so these are. Uh, like opposite or inverted, you say. Oh, and they're a lot, they're a lot longer, aren't they? Yes. So you get more of the more travel. More travel. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Well, you know, man. How are the brakes looking? The pads? <laughs> that looks good. Yeah. The, the parachute looks pretty packed, so the brakes yeah. look good to me. Yeah. Nice. There's the K member. Transmission's all about getting this has the new Circle D flat blade slater design. So this is one of their test 6L90 units. Um, should be stalled somewhere between 48 to 5200 RPMs. And they're <laughs> telling us our slip percentage should be three to five percent uh, maximum. So uh, and it's built for the blower. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how this 60 fits. Jeez. It'd be nice to keep it where it was, right? The 120s. Yeah, it, it needs to stay in the 120s. Heck yeah. Wow. So, uh, yeah, uh, there's a few <laughs> cosmetic upgrades behind the grill. Just a little bit? We have the JC Whitney category in there. <laughs> <laughs> we picked whatever follows playing with the foot. Wow. So, nice. Now this is going to be definitely an eye 
catcher now, especially with the uh, wagon already. Now we have the yeah. big cone at the hood. Gonna get a little bit of some nice whistle noises, huh? Oh, it's gonna be <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be whistling and very mechanical. Yeah, noise. It just like you're like it. It may be louder than this exhaust. Really? This exhaust. I, uh, yeah, it's a very like you said, it's a mechanical noise. Kind of sounds like a Ducati clutch. Like there's some stuff rolling around in there. It makes all types of racket. <laughs> <laughs> so they're gonna know we're coming. Yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. So when do you think we're gonna be done with it all? Uh, with the, you think it's gonna make it or maybe, maybe not? We're gonna be tight. <laughs> yeah, we I understand. Do uh, but yeah, number one is making sure that we don't do something stupid and yeah, backwards with something. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. it it's it's good and kind of cooperating. There's just there's a lot of little stuff left there. So. Yeah. You, know, you may not yeah. see like it's just. It'll be tough to get it tested before. Well, isn't it like? I mean, we go. We're gonna set up Wednesday over there just with the the stuff, and but we we literally got till Friday, I think. But we'll be testing as qualifications, which I'm cool with that too to see what it does for testing. So you have till next week Friday. So yeah. yeah. So. There's a drag day, I think, for Wednesday or something. But. Yeah, yeah, that's the test and tune day. Yeah, <laughs> that, that is it. they they do have a uh, a test and tune coming up this Saturday too, uh, which is two fifty a car. And I'm not sure if you wanted to at least have the V3 lined out that way. Speaking of V3, I guess we should go take a look at that. Yeah, V3 is V3 is in the uh, yeah. I mean that way at least we have a car because I do have a spot in the heavyweight class, and I, the truck won't be ready or the. Well, and then so it only leaves out to the that, wagon. That was kind of our thought that the V3 was close enough to, you know, kind of how I said the little finishing stuff on the V3, and we know that one's ready. Right. Let's go check out the V3, huh? Mm -hmm. well, let's see what we have here. Um, trans brake and bump buttons now. Uh, if you sit on in there, the left button uh, would be your trans brake activation, and your right button will be your bump activation. Nice. And while you are not on the trans brake, if you hold down that same button for the bump, that will be your scramble boost button also. So when I'm like mid track and I need it all. Yeah, when you want it all, <laughs> when we're going for broke. Go baby, go. go. Yes, go baby, go. <laughs> That's the um, no warranties included uh, button. Got it. Go all in. How much boost do you think it would make on this button? Uh, as much as it can, which would probably be uh, at least probably around 30 pounds yeah i would think Oof. however much these turbos can feed a 427 motor it's going to take the motor did pretty good though too huh oh wow looks like you have enough fuel huh uh yeah uh, <laughs> six, 16 in over here <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah unfortunately it's not the easiest fuel to get locally so <laughs> mm -mm -mm. a couple of things change this used to be a solid cap this was our overflow and this overflow hose just went down. That was our problem. Uh, as you can see, even out of this new centered iron portion of the cap, we do still get a little bit of coolant out of here. So our plan, our Rodney's plan was to plug this. We have another plug. And we're gonna run this hose down to another overflow can um, somewhere, somewhere accessible that we can drain. Got it. It's unfortunately, it's like the, the inherent design of how, I understand how he's got to do this, you know, to get around all his charge shooting and all. It's just the inherent design of how you have 
the radiator um, overflow and expansion tank next to each other. Got it. Cool. Well. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you can see, it doesn't look like the wagon's gonna make it. There's a lot to be done. I wish it would. I think it would be, uh, have the highest chance of winning the class, uh, power and suspension and everything, but see you next one.